once again, this is just a general, basic, it's a bonus read for the sign of Cancer. Not a love reading. I do have several of those up that I recently posted. So once you read, once you um, watch this video, if you feel, still feel like you need a love reading, by all means, go check out the home page. I have several of those new ones on my home page of my YouTube channel. So, Cancer, let's take a look and see what the overall energy that we have coming up for you. Well, we got the Wheel of Fortune, and it's with the Hierophant. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. It's actually really good when you get this card in a reading. And it's with the Hierophant. Another great card. So this is telling me that for some of you Cancers, you could have acquired some some great knowledge or you could have learned something. So for some of you, you're studying something. For some of you, you've been lucky enough to gain some type of wisdom. The Hierophant is a very, very wise type of energy or type of person. Yeah. So you've got a lot of power now. This wisdom has given you power. And you could start to realize that you, you feel very fortunate now. Fortune is in your favor. You know a lot of things that people don't know. Maybe some of you went to school and studied something. You learned something. You got power now. Wisdom is power. Knowledge is power. So you're starting to feel like fortune is in your favor. You're starting to feel lucky. The will of fortune is about good fortune. It can be a turning point. You can feel like things are starting to go really good for you. Or you feel like things could go good for you now. You got this power. Because you got wisdom now. Yeah, you've learned something. You got the knowledge. Knowledge is power. So, I don't know what, what you learned, but it's indicating that it could bring great fortune. Or you feel like it could bring you great fortune. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up. We got the Three of Swords, and it's with the Eight of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords, it can be about closing yourself off. Yeah, see, the Three of Swords, a card above the word present. She kind of sensed that these swords were about to come at her. Because she's been jabbed at before. So she knows what it feels like to be in a hurtful situation. See, she's got her eyes closed, and she's hiding behind that tree because she knew it was coming. Those swords, three of them, right at her. They just missed her. So, Eight of Swords, the card below the word present, it's, it's about holding yourself back because... You could be afraid to just move forward for no reason. Or you're just afraid of getting hurt by a situation or for, for no reason at all. Yeah. So, coming up, you've acquired this great knowledge of something. You've been taught something that can bring you a whole lot of power or fortune but you're not doing anything about it you feel like for some reason I'm just getting you feel like now is not the time yeah you're closing yourself off to 
moving forward with anything. For some of you, you, you probably just got out of something that was a flop or something that didn't go well. And so you just want to just close yourself off to making things happen for you. You're not putting one foot in front of the other and doing anything. Yeah, some of you just got out of something that was, that didn't work out. And so, you're just holding yourself back. But, you got a lot of good things coming, coming in for you. But you're not doing anything about it. This knowledge that you've learned, or this, this book that you read, it can bring you great fortune. But you're not doing anything about it. You just got out of something that probably drained you emotionally. Or maybe even financially and you're just closing yourself off. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. So, we got the Queen of Pentacles. And it's with the Two of Cups. So, yeah, a lot of you... With this Queen of Pentacles here, you're choosing to just stay in the house. Queen of Pentacles can be about being a homebody, staying close to home, just being in the house, being in your backyard, just kind of falling back. Yeah, you're, I'm just getting that. For some of you, you're trying to get over something that was a flop or something that didn't work out. But you got this great knowledge that can pull you out of this frumpy situation or this frumpy feeling. But you're going through the, the motions. And it looks like something great is, is trying to happen for you with the Two of Cups here. Two of Cups can be about um, a good opportunity. This is not a love reading. Usually it can be about the ideal partner. Since this is not a love reading, it can be a great opportunity. Some great opportunity is trying to happen for, for you, Cancer. But you kind of like going through the motions of trying to get over something. Yeah, maybe you started a business and it was just, maybe you started a business recently or before. For some of you, you did. And it was just a flop. It was just, it didn't, it didn't, it wasn't successful like you thought it would be. Yeah, it probably put you in debt. For some of you. Or it could be something like this. And it's making you not use the power that you have now. You got a lot of power now. And you're sitting on it. Yes, you are. I'm just looking at that Queen of Pentacles. She's sitting on her power. Yeah. And this power can bring you abundance. Fortune is your is in your favor now, Cancer. Just remember, when you get the Wheel of Fortune, that wheel is still turning. So you have to use it when it shows up. You have to use that that wheel when it shows up. Because it's constantly turning. Fortune is in your favor now. So don't sit down for, for too much longer. So let's see what the outcome is. we got the Two of Wands. And it's with the Eight of Pentacles. Well, the Two of Wands can be about trying to make a decision. You could have two paths towards the future. So you're trying to decide. The good thing about this Two of Wands, it looks like you finally got, about, got up from, uh, from your seat. You're finally you're getting up, Cancer. You're realizing that time waits for no one. So that's a good thing. And you're trying to make a decision. Yeah, you got all this knowledge. 
you got this all this power now. For some of you, you just graduated from college. And you got so much in your head now that can bring you everything, bring you a lot of the things that you wanted. And it looks like, like I said, you, you, you've gotten up out of your seat or you will be soon with the two of wands. You're trying to make a decision which path to take now. And it looks like you could start putting things into motion because the Eight of Pentacles is about a hard work period. It can be about just working overtime. You could be starting to feel inspired. So you're getting up. This is a good thing. You could be trying to master your craft. Yeah. Pen and pinnacles, the money could be coming in. You could starting, you could, with the state of pinnacles, here, like, that's a card. The eight of pinnacles is the card below the word outcome. So you could finally start to feel passionate about mastering a craft. You could, you could finally start to feel motivated again and inspired. And for some of you, you're going to start to see things finally grow again. So, yeah, for some of you, this could feel like you're starting over. Because, like I said, this three of swords is just showing that something didn't work out. And you just didn't want to put the work and the effort in again. You felt like it was going to be a flop like the, the other thing was. Or whatever it is that caused you to want to just not put in any effort and energy in anything else. So you, this is a good thing, the outcome, Cancer. You, you finally got up. You're trying to decide what to do. And it looks like something clicks. Something is causing your brain to click and it's waking, something's waking you up. Some good opportunity maybe has come in with the Two of Cups. Yeah. And it's getting you inspired and motivated again. So this is really good. Because like I said, the Wheel of Fortune is in your favor at this time. And the wheel constantly turns. It doesn't always stay in your favor. So you got to use it when it's there. Time waits for no one. So that is the reading that I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you feel about the situation and much more. There's also a link for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Cancer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Cancer reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, um, this was just a bonus general basic reading. I usually do love ratings. I just wanted to throw in a, a little bonus here um, just to break things up. So check out the homepage. I have a lot of new love ratings if you're interested in those that I just posted. So come back and join me for the next cancer reading also, which will be in about another four or five days, which will be a love reading, another one. So cancer, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.